The future is bright indeed. We're all of us dreaming of the better days ahead, and a part of your bright new future could be a move to where the magic lives in the greater Orlando area of Florida. One of the biggest decisions you'll make when considering a move is selecting a realtor who can successfully match you with the right home in the right location at the right price. Victor Naraki is the realtor who can help you make the move you've always wanted to. Whether you're a first-time homeowner or looking to move near Disney World, Victor is in your corner. If you are looking for an experienced real estate agent covering all of Central Florida, please visit DisneyAtYourDoorstep.com today and find out just why you should work with Victor. I encourage you to create a free, no-obligation account on his website. By doing so, you'll unlock the website's full potential and be able to enter specific criteria, save listings, and browse new properties sent to your email. Visit DisneyAtYourDoorstep.com today or visit his Facebook page, Victor Naraki Realtor. And don't forget to tell him the Grand Circle Tour podcast sent you. Hi, everyone. Welcome aboard the Walt Disney World Express Monorail. We're now embarking on a scenic journey over the highway in the sky. Just ahead is one of the real wonders of our world, the exciting Contemporary Resort. In a few seconds, we'll be passing directly through the center of the Contemporary's Tower Building for a look at the spectacular Grand Canyon Concourse. As we ride through the Grand Canyon Concourse, you can see one of the largest ceramic murals ever created. It's nine stories high, and it's made up of 18,000 hand-painted tiles. Elevators running through the center will carry you high above to the top of the World Restaurant, where famous stars entertain. I'm totally not recording, so Holly, anything you want to say? I got nothing. Any, any, any rumors you want to spread? Any gossip? Any, any smack talk? I'm not falling into that rabbit hole. <laughs> Man! I really hate that StreamYard tells you guys I'm recording now because I'm always, always trying to catch you. Mm -hmm. Aloha, passengers. Welcome back to the Grand Circle Tour. Jungle Skipper Jay here with you, and I am with my, count them, not one, but two. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Favorite co host Food Fairy Chris and our own Remaster Holly. Ladies, how are you? Good. 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 Ready to dive into this subject. Yeah. This is the very first Passengers for the year of 2022. We're having, we have a brand new Detour series, and we got to all thank Chris for this. This was her idea. No, no, no. It was really Holly and Dan. I got to give them 100% credit. So, you know what? It was all my idea. I just threw the plan into action. <laughs> <Yeah>, she did. <laughs> this Detour series would not be happening without Chris. Um, we are going to do every single American Disney hotel in order of opening and if you're asking why disneyland hotel is not first disney did not own it till the 90s so we kind of punted that off a little bit mm -hmm. <laughs> so we had to pick between the contemporary and the poly so we're going for the poly for number one and i want to ask you both wait a minute wait. no we're not <laughs> I'm like, wait, Screeching a wait, wait, did I mess up? Did I mess up? Contemporary, contempt. <laughs> we are going contempt. My heart belongs to the poly, everyone. I, I just died a little bit. My, my heart belongs to the poly. This is all my fault. Sorry. We are going to start with a contemporary, which opened the same day as the Magic Kingdom in 1971. And I want to ask you both, what is it about this hotel that exudes that classic, retro contemporary feel for you oh my gosh um well Put you on the spot right away considering the fact that i saw it for the very first time in 1976 wow. when i was on my senior class trip for high school awesome. i was blown away by this seeing this huge structure mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and then going through it on the monorail it's like whoa this is the coolest thing ever and you know i was 18 at the time so so you got to see my very favorite feature which was the plastic trees yes which i would oh, yes. kill to bring those back i need to look that up you mentioned that the other day and i need to look that up because huh. Holly Pass. I'm gonna look it up right now. Stop what you're doing. Look up plastic yeah, trees, Disney up, Contemporary. Literally right now. It couldn't be any more <laughs> 70s goodness no. if we tried. No, it it it's just it, it's um 
retro to the time that it was built, but it's still valid right now. So yeah. it, it's just it an amazing It is an place. ageless hotel. It really mm -hmm. is. Yeah. There's nothing quite like that lobby for me. I Seeing know. the stores, the restaurants, the monorails, that amazing. Is it those? Those. I yes. love the plastic trees. I'm thrilled to bring those back. Those are yes. so I can't even describe what these, but they say plexiglass mm -hmm. trees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they're like orange and brownish. Just Yellow the epitome is... of the 70s. I oh, mean, yeah, totally. Wanna... <laughs> They are as seventies as as there goes my yeah. microphone as Freaky Friday was, and you know I told you I was talking to Jay yesterday about the seventies. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I actually lived through it. So there, there is orange and brown as seventies as you want to be. Oh yeah. yeah, we're just missing that floral print, the like right. the couch. <laughs> so. Fun, fun story about this hotel. Disney contracted U.S. Steel to build it. Yeah. And they were about a year out when they fired U.S. Steel and took production of finishing this hotel because they said, oh, we won't have it done until 72. So Disney said, get out. We'll do <laughs> it ourselves. Out. And because of that, we now have the Walt Disney World Hotel Corporation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Yep, that's very cool. I don't know if you guys have heard this phrase, like a chest of drawers. They actually built the rooms off site mm -hmm. and slid them into the building like a chest of drawers. They were just, they originally thought they could pull these out every decade and make them contemporary to the time. But at the time, they were $17,000 per room in the 70s, which is about $100,000 in our time. Mm -hmm. So they just sealed them up and said, we'll get back to this later. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. That uh, that was a pipe dream, I think. <laughs> and they're still doing some work like kind of like this in LA right now. I know this is totally off, but like the homeless camps, they're trying to get a mm -hmm. lot of the homeless off the streets. Mm -hmm. So they're doing this with like, um, storage buildings and they're stacking them and sliding them in like that uh -huh. so it's kind of like obviously much nicer at through disney but mm -hmm. kind of the same concept hmm. which is crazy all these years later yeah right and you know i'm just gonna say it ali got plenty of rundown hotels just just make that for the homeless people. Let's not get into that. Let's talk about the good stuff. <laughs> I love LA. I live there. I'll give it a pass. But man, we get to talk about that on a detour. Another detour. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so it took two years to build this hotel from start to finish. And U.S. still actually did a documentary about this. You can go and find it. And they talk about sliding the rooms in like a chest of drawers. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. It is very. Mm -hmm. Now, Chris, how many rooms are in that in that main A-frame tower? The main building has 383 rooms in it, and then the um, south, the garden wing that is to the south, has 250. Mm -hmm. So, um, and and in 1971, those were forty-four dollars a night. Adding for inflation, that is only two hundred and fifty-seven dollars in today's money. Okay, well, that's not exactly what the prices are. Mm -hmm. We can talk about that now, or we can get into that in a little bit. Shall we trash talk the prices? Shall okay, we? Let's, <laughs> let's trash talk the prices. Okay, so I I did a search and the rooms putting it in for, I think it was like June, actually there was some availability. Um, the main tower lake view is $750 a night. The main uh -huh. tower theme park views are $818 a night. Now, originally- Excuse me while I go over here to fade and die. I know. Originally, <laughs> Disney was not charging more uh -huh. for those, for that side of the main tower, um, they did increase the prices and made them different in 2008. 
um, the garden wing rooms, which, you know, I always said, oh, I don't want to stay there. I want to stay in the main building, <laughs> but they're $580 a night and they're the same size room. So that's a steal. It's a huge difference. Yeah. You're being ripped off. <laughs> Um, standard room atrium club level are $970 a night. So if you're going to book a room on oh, the club shanks. level for concierge service, you better take advantage of those services or you're paying for absolutely nothing. Yes, definitely. So okay. I figured this out. A standard room theme park view for two people for eight nights with four day tickets only because I thought, eh, I'm not doing parks every single day would run Paul and I $7,500 for the trip. Like they said, two people. Day two, people. Yikes. two people. So you booked that right away, right? Oh, yeah. You thought, yeah wow, I got right on that. <clears throat> no. <laughs> so I wanted to go in. So Contemporary is considered a deluxe resort. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they have value, moderate, and then deluxe. So that's how Disney categorizes their resorts. Right. And obviously it's based on prices going in that. So I wondered how in the world they, obviously we kind of have an idea of what's a value based on mm -hmm. pricing also. Yeah. So this is considered a deluxe. So here are the reasons that it's considered a deluxe. So a deluxe has sit down restaurants and most of deluxe resorts offer some sort of character di dining within their resort. Uh, they have immaculate pools, such as some with sand bottoms, volcanoes, like really great stuff. When you say immaculate pools, it brings a whole <laughs> different They better be all in there. <laughs> How religious is this pool? <laughs> Depends on how much chlorine is in it, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> so there's less walking to get to your transportation. And as we know, we have heard Stan talk about staying at Pop and having to walk <laughs> long lengths to get yes. to his transportation. Yeah. Um, they have like the concierge and club level options, which you were just talking about. If you're doing that, you you better be hanging out at the resort and using all of the amenities right. that come mm -hmm. with that. And then they have like children's activity centers um, with different sort of things that they'll do. Some cost, some don't. Now um, fill me in because I don't have kids. Is that a place I can just drop them off and walk away from them for the day? Only at Alani and on a Disney oh. cruise, but not at the resorts. Too bad, so sad, I wish. They used to have them though. They yeah. used to have um, kids club babysitting stuff because I took advantage of that on more than one occasion. So Alani in the 90s. <laughs> still has the kids club that is included where it actually you can take the children three and up and mm -hmm. they will watch them while you mm -hmm. go to the spa or okay. whatever. So that is, I don't think I'm going to go through all of them until we hit one of those other resorts. So we do have the, the differences of what a value, of what a moderate and and you can also guess that when you're looking at the prices, just by yeah. pricing, you can be like, yep, that's a deluxe. When, when you pass out at the $7,500 price tag. <laughs> then you're in the deluxe bill. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I, I will say what is fantastic about this hotel for me personally was at the time Walt really wanted to test new innovation with American companies. And that was fully on display here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yep. But what's really interesting is um, getting back to the rooms and stuff is um, that south wing that you don't think you really want to stay in. It might be beneficial for people depending on what your interests are, mm -hmm. because the south wing is actually closer to the swimming pools. And it's very close to the marina as well. So if you're going there and you're going to do the boating thing, you're right there. So you don't yeah. have to worry about a, especially a long the walk pool to get there. because yeah, sometimes it's it's a long walk. Especially mm -hmm. maybe it's chilly. I mean, not too often in Florida, but what if it's mm -hmm. chilly and you're in the hot what tub? If and you gotta... What if it's fifty-eight degrees? <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, what if it's 58 degrees and you just got out of the hot tub and, yeah. and you are freezing like immediately yeah. and you have this like 500 yard walk to get back to your room. <laughs> so harsh. Oh gosh. Like oh, and the, um, the South Wing, though, keep in mind about this for anybody who's interested in booking those is they do not have balconies. <gasps> so yes. if that's what you're, you know, looking for, you definitely don't want to do that. If so. I want to stay there, I want a theme park view so I can come out, have coffee and watch the sunrise yeah. over the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I actually going back to a time when I was lucky enough to stay there. Um, it was, I know Holly's going to go, oh, here she goes with her year. With her date. <laughs> Um, I want to say it was 97. We stayed there um, with my kids and um, we checked in. We were only staying there one night because that was all we could afford to do. But we were on another trip to Florida doing different things. So we just went there and um, spent one night, went to Disney the next day. And then we drove to wherever we were going. For the rest of the time so we stayed there the one night we checked in and they saw that we had kids so they said um it was i don't know it was it was march so it was like kind of spring break time because that's when my kids were out of school um would you be interested in a magical upgrade and we're like yes, yes please Heck yes, that's not okay. So back I then, use, but... a magical upgrade was free. Now, a magical upgrade will cost you another two hundred bucks a night. No, Literally, was... an arm and a leg. They have a surgeon to take it off. It actually was forty dollars. So, oh wow, I jumped okay. all over that. So we were going to be in a garden room, and they moved us to the main tower on the Magic Kingdom side, and so we got to stand outside. And watch the late fireworks that night, and that was awesome. Let me That's ask you, as someone ever. who's uh, never absolutely. got to do that, how magical was that experience? It, it, I, I can't even put it into words. And the looks on my kids' faces when they saw those fireworks from mm -hmm. right in our own room. That's amazing. Yeah. Because I just want to snuggle up as a couple, watch the sunrise, have coffee. <laughs> hold hands and just have that experience of seeing the sunrise over the magic kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's yep. cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was very cool. So I wonder <sighs> if they still offer magical upgrades. And if, they, <laughs> and if they term it like that, and I, I'm going to write this down and I wonder how much it is. Well, if they still offer. That was my skeptical laugh. Sorry. I know. Now, do I you know. mean like in 2022 or do you mean like in the last five years? I mean now, like if, if they're not fully booked, which is a huge if already, mm -hmm. are they offering that to people? And if they do, how much is it? Mm -hmm. The surgeon will take one arm and one leg, <laughs> your choice, left or right. Now, I don't know about this resort, but when I stayed at Art of Animation in 2019, I went for the Galaxy's Edge, Edge Pass Holder preview, and I was supposed to be in a Little Mermaid room, and my room wasn't ready. And the woman who checked me in, sweetest lady, she goes... I mean, we were having a really nice conversation with each other. And she goes, you know, your room's not ready. Would you be interested in a magical upgrade? Okay. She upgraded me to, to a family suite at no extra charge. Okay. So it does happen. Now, so Chris and that, I mean, that wasn't that long charm. ago. Chris is a good luck charm for temporary. <laughs> Take Chris with you for upgrade. Right? So... <laughs> So anyway, it does happen now, whether well, it happens at the contemporary. And you I just make a made me about think it. about it. My friend just booked recently at the Grand California and she just booked a standard room. And when she got there, five she feet by five feet. Yes. And she took a video of her room and it was like a one or two bedroom. 
a oh, villa. Wow. And I said, what the heck room? How much did that cost you? And she said, I just booked a standard room. And I said, that is not, I've stayed there. That is not a standard <laughs> room. A I've stayed room. in the standard room. In 25 weeks, when we get to it. I have plenty to say about the Grand Californian. <laughs> Most of it not nice, but we'll get there in a week. <laughs> so, in yeah, year. you just made me think of, this was only a couple months ago. And yeah. she did get an upgrade, clearly, but they didn't even tell her. Wow. So she, and then she, later, a few hours later, she said, yeah, you're right. I did look this up and this is an upgrade. This would have cost me $1,800 for the night. And I'm like, I told you. Wow. As a former Grand California manager, I can't wait to get to that episode. Now, was she was she staying there more than one night or was it just one night? One night. One okay. night. Well, see, that that's probably why they did it. Because, Maybe. and same thing with um, the contemporary. When I, at the mm -hmm. contemporary when this happened it was only a one night thing it's kind of like in between reservations yeah that like makes you got sense. somebody booked for four nights here and then there's a day open and then there's another you know i love it when hotels five, do that so. mm -hmm. it yeah. just makes your experience so much better and that's with any hotel when mm -hmm. you get to the room and it's upgraded especially yeah. when they don't tell you like mm -hmm. that's such a fun surprise. Yeah. And I, I hate to, to say Disney magic but when they do it. It's Disney magic. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Hey, no. Chris, let me ask real quick. When you stayed there, did they still have those great seventies maps on the wall? I want to say yes. I mean, it was, the room was, it, it definitely needed to be upgraded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when we were there it had like the black on like, like a wall was black and there was like hot pink and there was, you know, orange. Because we're going to include a picture of those great, great maps mm -hmm. from the rooms with this episode. I would give anything to have one of those maps on my wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. But um, the, uh, the 12th, getting back to some of the room situations, the... Um, Concierge levels are actually on the 12th and 14th floor and the 12th floor is called the atrium club concierge and the 14th is the tower club and the big difference between those two is that the suites are on the 14th floor where the other ones are regular sized rooms so i i don't know when they enlarge those or if they were that size from the get-go that i'm not sure about well they slid them like a chest of drawers so <laughs> I'm, I, I'm i'm expecting they haven't changed yeah <laughs> yep so uh the one of the things that you get with your concierge services nightly turndown service if you want it and you get a solid chocolate mickey candy on your pillow every night i could yeah. go for that who bites the ears off first is it just me <laughs> i do <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just like a mickey bar the ear goes <laughs> first <laughs> yep um and then the convention center is space wise is i i had no idea how big this place was i mean i knew it was good size but mm -hmm. i did not know it's ninety thousand square feet Wow. It is a heck of a convention space, and I I will be in trouble if I don't mention this. Um, we all know that the, the ballroom of the Contemporary is where Nixon gave his famous "I am not a crook" speech. <laughs> yes, yes, he did. <laughs> that he did. Turns out he was. Um, He's not alone. <laughs> They all are, but let's not do politics yeah. today. We'll do that. We'll, 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 rip, we'll rip them all apart. We'll do the Hall of Presidents. Everyone will rip them apart. No, 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 no. No, no safety for any of them. No, no. safety. Not a good idea. <laughs> that. We're never doing that, passengers. Don't worry. No. And then the other building, um, there was the north wing that was torn down. Mm -hmm. And that is where Bay Lake Tower sits. And that has 428 rooms in it. Have either one of you stayed at the Bay Lake Tower yet? Nope. I've never nope. even been in there. Okay. No. What is, how is pricing compared there as um, the other? Two you know, arms and one leg. Up and there was like nothing available. available for okay. Me to yeah. even so that means it must be less expensive. Mm-hmm. 
And it's mostly <laughs> BBC, but you know, anybody can stay there. So I said less expensive. I didn't say cheap. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say affordable. <laughs> I said less expensive. Do you know that you know that uh, that video clip they go, I'm gonna throw my head back and laugh. <laughs> That's yeah. me. Anytime we talk about price. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> 99.9% .9 of all of these resorts that we're going to talk about over this next year, I will never stay in. <laughs> Do not say that. Yeah. Never say that. You don't know. My mm -hmm. timeshare is only good for Old Key West and Saratoga. So Correct. that's where I will be residing. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> just going to say it now. Ain't no party like a GCT party. Just wait. We're going to do it. 17 of us in one room. <laughs> we'll, we'll make it work. Sleeping bags on the floor. Oh yeah. my gosh. Well, and they do have, hey, they do have uh, the vice presidential and presidential suites. So, so there you, you go. You know what? I'm, I, it, contemporary is not a place I want. I, I typically want to stay at. I'm a poly guy, but that mm -hmm. presidential suite, one day I'm going to stay in it. Okay. Right. You let me know when two, that is. Oh, you'll you'll be you'll all be there. When you win the lottery, you will all be there. What I do <laughs> when you win the lottery, that's that's my. If I do, thing. we're all gonna stay there. Okay, Sounds good. I'm writing that down. Now okay. we know California Grill is one of the best places to eat on property. Chris, I'm not saying you and I are old, but. <laughs> We remember when it was the top of the world club yes. and it had stars like Phyllis Diller, Don Rickles. Mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. <laughs> who? Yeah, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> yep. It was, awesome. it was a great, back in the day, that was the place to go after the park mm -hmm. for adult entertainment. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was, it was a, a an amazing place. It still is good. Um, I haven't been now probably for I don't know, maybe four or five years, mm -hmm. but, um, it is, it's a, it's a great restaurant and they, they, they have great food. I'm sure they still do. And it's such a fabulous view to sit there. If you can get a window seat, because then you can watch the fireworks or you can go out onto the, mm -hmm. the um, whatever not, you call not that. Lie, I area. think that is one of the top five views in the entire mm -hmm. great state of florida nice. yeah yeah so do you want me to talk about the other restaurants before you guys get into your yeah yes, rest of your stuff? okay so besides california grill and, and it was funny how i started writing these down they were all alphabetical um chef mickey's is um an all you can eat breakfast or dinner and they are inching the buffets back into Disney World. So I'm not sure if this one is converted back into a buffet or not at this point. In yeah, time. I have no idea. I uh -huh. haven't heard yet. Um, the Contempo Cafe is a quick service breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And you have a great monorail view from the Contempo Cafe. And I know that because I got a cupcake there a couple of years ago and I sat there and ate it and watched the monorail going to and fro so that was awesome uh the contemporary grounds is a java and pastry place and they also have smoothies there uh the cove bar is the private pool for bay lake tower or dvc staying at the contemporary the outer rim which i absolutely love that place um it's a great small lounge and they have really really good drinks there enjoy it while okay. you can uh -huh. recording. <laughs> it's not going to be there much longer. Right. I know. The sandbar pool uh, is also has quick serve. And now what took place of the wave of the American flavors is Steakhouse 71. Um, I really miss, miss the wave. And I am so sad that I did not get to go to Steakhouse 71 on my last trip because, as we know, my trip wound up in the dumpster. <laughs> I'll be there in dumpster eight fire. weeks. I will tell you how great it is. Oh, I promise. That is on my list. Yeah. To go, um, I'm gonna have to donate some organs. I think if we're all six going there, <laughs> two arms and a leg. They have a surgeon yeah. on on staff. But 
I'm really hoping to get a reservation there this summer. But you know what? Done. From what I have been reading, um, the prices are fairly reasonable in comparison to a lot of other well, yeah. honestly you're right property i've you're heard right. a lot of great things about mm -hmm. stick 71 and the price yeah i think you i'm just overall food? going yeah. in my head of the other three places mm -hmm. um that we want to stay or go eat at which is 220 topolino's mm -hmm. and the artist point and so i'm looking i'm thinking it's going to be a thousand bucks for those four restaurants but mm -hmm. But so, yeah, I think that one will probably be the least expensive out of mm -hmm. those other. Three, I'm, I'm yeah, looking said. forward to having breakfast there and then going to the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so those are your too. those are your dining and bar options. Lots of options there. Yeah. Which, there once again, that goes back to being a deluxe mm -hmm. resort. You yep. get yep. a lot more options. Yeah. Um. So one of the things on that one episode that Dan and I were talking about and it was things to do. So he has been an owner at Saratoga for, I have no idea how long he's been an owner, mm -hmm. but he stumbled across like an activity that he didn't even know existed at his own <laughs> resort. <laughs> so I kind of made a list of some things that you can do at the contemporary that um, some of it does have fees included. But if you don't want to go to the parks for the day or a couple days, there's so many things. How what? dare you? How <laughs> dare you say that? And enjoy your $900 <laughs> nightly room. Yes, yes. So some of the things that they have is um, it's called the Game Station, and it's an arcade. I think every Disney resort has an arcade. You mean the former Fiesta Fun Center? <laughs> yeah, which... I try to make sure my children don't find these when we go <laughs> to property because it's to me it's a complete waste of money. I would rather them be spending time at the pool or what have you. But mm -hmm. anyway, so but, that but is do you, always. But do you get quiet time? Because that twenty dollars and quarters may be maybe worth it. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't last very long. Oh. They go, yeah, it's just such a waste. Um, so there's a basketball court. They have yoga that you can do on property. They have cabana rentals. You can actually do some fishing. They have motorized um, boat rentals, volleyball, tennis, jogging trails. Boo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you won't catch me on those. You won't catch me on there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe by accident. <laughs> um, and most resorts, or I shouldn't say most, many, many have some sort of like campfires at night mm -hmm. where you can do mm -hmm. s'mores. Um, so that was listed there. And then as far as I know, pretty much every Disney resort has the movies under the stars. Right. Sometimes it's by the pool. Sometimes they have a designated area. Mm -hmm. So that's always really nice just to relax. And I think they sometimes will sell popcorn, give popcorn, whatever. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. But make sure you get your snacks and your popcorn. Um, so those are just some of the things. They usually also have, which I couldn't find anything for the contemporary, but most do have some sort of uh, children's, like we just talked about, um, room and they do like crafts. Some mm -hmm. are free, some charge, mm -hmm. but this is mostly at the de deluxe resorts. And right. I've seen it where you can do like painting of pottery and sometimes it's mm -hmm. five or $10 and then they'll do the um, tie dye shirts. And mm -hmm. I think that's more pricey like 20 or 25 but i think they make them in little mickey heads in the middle when you do the tie dye oh so, that's cute yeah so that's one more thing that you can do and i know that marla just did some sort of mosaic and it was really cool i don't know how much it cost her but it was like a mickey shaped mosaic yeah, with very glass cool, pieces. Very it was marla so beautiful message me i want to do this mm -hmm. yeah it, 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 that's it's, at the um at um where did she stay? A Grand Destino Cor Tower. At, oh, okay. Um, yeah, Coronado so Springs. So it seems yeah. like though that they have kind of the same activities at all the the activity centers um, that you can do just depending on the day and the time. And mm -hmm. you can find out all those activities and the time slots and the pricing when you check in. I could have probably found it online, but I didn't dig that far. So mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah, oh, lots. How, how dare you? See, I had a girl's weekend this past weekend. I was busy. 
Yeah, you know, it's really quick, off topic. It's been four years, and I'm still very angry because four years ago, I had a reservation at Sammy Duvall's at the Contemporary to do the parasailing on Bay Lake. Oh. 400 feet in the air, look down on, on the Magic Kingdom, on, mm -hmm. on all of it. And the day before I left, they called and said, we're not doing this anymore. <sighs> and it's been four years, guys. I'm still mad I didn't get to parasail oh. above the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> what? Why did they stop doing it? Liability? <clears throat> Alligators. The what? Alligators. Alligators. Oh, they don't want you in the water anymore. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's a good reason. But yeah. I would have signed a waiver, you know, if I, if I lose a hand or foot, fine. <laughs> I, I got to Paris a little above the Magic Kingdom. I just got a glimpse of Jurassic Park when they're, <laughs> they're suddenly gone. <laughs> Parasailing. If I lose a hand like Captain Hook, fine, whatever. I just want to parasail. He'll be stuck on a Discovery Island. <laughs> you know, my, my, I will tell you my worst fear. But the only fear I had about parasailing was if something goes wrong, dear God, don't let me land in River Country. <laughs> and now well, that's Discovery gone. Discovery Island too. would be just as bad. I think River Country would be scarier. It would be scarier, but Discovery Island would be smellier. It would be, yeah. But they still oh, have power gosh. there. They still have power there. Yeah. We need to add those ones, too. <laughs> oh, So what else you got, Jay? Uh, um, and, and you know what? I also... Uh, wow, me speak good today. This is, this is Tuesday <laughs> afternoon. Me speak good. Now, the gingerbread house for Christmas is actually designed to take the monorail vibrations. Is it really? It is. Oh my gosh. Because I mean, before it cool. used to shake the shingles off the roof. Wow. <laughs> that's funny. I did Our passengers know that. were just throwing all this random info at you. I today. know. They're like, okay. And that, that gingerbread house is very cool. It is very cool. It's it is it passengers, if you haven't been for Christmas, you you have to see the gingerbread mm -hmm. house at the contemporary. Yeah. It's great. I don't think I've seen it. Why mm. haven't I seen it? That's weird. I don't remember this. But I was there for Christmas. Someone's probably screaming at right, me right now because I have it wrong, but whatever. No. no. I have no idea. But I am hoping to go to Steakhouse 71, and I am hoping to spend some more time in that hotel because I have mm. not, obviously not stayed there, but I have not explored it nearly enough i am going to get to the controversial part i like the mary blair mm -hmm. stuff they've done in the lobby to update it mm -hmm. but these new incredible rooms are kind of a turnoff for me i don't <laughs> want to stay in these incredible rooms they're yeah, not, I'm not, they're, I'm they're not, not digging on the i'm not digging <laughs> on this at all i i understand where their thought process is I haven't seen it in person, but if you're going to go full retro, go full go 60s, full retro. 70s retro. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I see the connection in, in certain ways, the colors, but, the design, yeah. but mm -hmm. yeah, but not the, not the whole, just to do all this stuff in, in these rooms. It's just, I'm going to be honest and I want to know what you guys think and what the listeners think. Once I saw the Incredibles room, that was it. I'm out. I don't really want to stay there now. Now are they, they not all do, like that? Yeah. Yeah. They didn't okay. do Bay Lake tower like that though. Did they probably not? I don't know. That's for the fancy people. That's yeah. <laughs> probably not. Well, if any if any passengers have stayed at the Bay Lake Tower, please well, comment. My friends just stayed and let there us know like um, two weeks how ago. the rooms are decorated yeah. there. For and, and I want to know from anybody who has actually stayed there and what they think of those rooms because I have seen those new incredible rooms and went, that's not incredible enough for me. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna message themed. You hear it, listeners. She's texting right now, live. My friend, air. my friend, just stayed there like two or three weeks ago at Bay Lake Tower. Uh huh. Okay. And it was her first time at Disney World too. Okay. Let's see how quickly she responds. 
Well, we've got two minutes and six seconds left, so. Yes, we do. No pressure. I'm currently no pressure. recording. Can you please hurry up with your answer? <laughs> so what else you got, Jay? The only last thought I have is why are the escalators so narrow? Is that because people were smaller in the 70s? I'm going to say yes. I don't it, think so. Any That's what everybody you have to always sideways. But I I don't know. I'm thinking I mean the same for Disneyland. Why are the queues for the dark rides where everyone's butt is in your face? Mm -hmm. Like it's so narrow. What the so heck narrow. queue have you been in? <laughs> uh the Peter Pan one where the row in front of you is just How sure are you? <laughs> Likely sure <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> so no, they are not okay. See? As incredible. Okay. So if you don't want the incredible experience, go you stay at a VC member. Pay more for a better room. <laughs> but you know what? I don't necessarily think that they're all that much more price wise i really don't so i mean yeah. i just can't imagine somebody you know just on a family vacation saying oh yeah i'm gonna pay you know nine hundred dollars a night to go right. stay at this hotel it's just not it's not as as much fun as we've had at this hotel's expense i would be willing to stay there with my nephews to give them that that magic kingdom view yeah. just mm -hmm. once so they could wake up and see the sunrise over right. the magic kingdom and, and give them that special memory yep. they'll always have yeah i mean it's really just like with my boys when i took them there yeah. you know it was and, and as much fun as we've had at this hotel expense it is a fantastic hotel it is it's and a wonderful place it is so well it, it is quintessential walt disney world mm -hmm. yeah even if you just stop in for a meal this is something you should experience i think if not every time every other time on your visit because mm -hmm. it ties back to it is opening day disney world it is it yeah. is classic roy and walt and it is everything they wanted you to experience yep absolutely love it final thoughts this ladies good. this was good yeah i i learned a lot um even though i knew quite a bit about this because i have been there numerous times mm -hmm. i still learned a lot of different things and that's what this whole detour thing is all about so well, this is our 2022 detour series all the american disney world hotels and again chris i applaud you because you're the one that came up with this and we no, wouldn't I'm be doing the, <laughs> i'm putting the blame on chris for this year's detour series okay Ladies, thanks so much. I, as always, I had a This was fun. And we can't wait for the next one. We'll be back in two weeks with the Polly. Yes. Yes, we will. We're going to all okay. fight over that one. Um, I, I put my name on that one first. I had to have yes, that you one. Did. <laughs> yeah, I have three pages of notes for contemporary. I have like 18 pages of notes oh, for boy. Polly. Okay. Just wait. All right. If you were bored with this one, I'm sorry, passengers. Just wait for the next one. <laughs> 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 Guys, thanks so much for joining me. Bye. Bye. Ken, take it away. If you would like to keep the adventure going after the show, be sure to like our Facebook friends page, Grand Circle Tours Magical Ticket Holders. While you're on Facebook, like our group page, Grand Circle Tours. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Grand Circle Tours Podcast, as well as on Instagram, GCT Podcast, and our YouTube channel, Grand Circle Tour. If you would like to email us, drop us a line at gctpodcast at gmail.com. T-shirts and other fun merchandise can be found at tpublic.com. Simply search Grand Circle Tour Podcast. If you enjoyed your adventure, leave us a review on Apple Podcast. Only one rule, make it good. All logos, sounds, songs, and music that are made by and for Disney and its affiliates are the full ownership of the Disney Corporation and are not, nor are they intended to be, the ownership of the Grand Circle Tour podcast. Thank you for riding with us, and welcome home.
Please exit to your left by stepping away from the cars with your left foot first. Step out and stand on the moving platform, please. Please exit by stepping away from the cars with your left foot first. Step out and stand on the moving platform, please.